Planet Side 2 recently had a game update, and among the many changes in this update were changes to how ESF weapons function. ESFs are Empire-specific fighters, they are the Reaver for the new conglomerate, they are the Mosquito for the Terran Republic, and they are the Scythe for the Vanu Sovereignty. For a long time, my primary weapon has been the Vortec Rotary on all of my Reaver loadouts. But what you're seeing here is the virtual reality training area, where you can go to try out any weapon, any vehicle, any cert, any class, before you decide to invest your certification points or station cash in them. And I'm here trying out the Air Hammer. Because the changes to the Vortec Rotary have decreased my effectiveness in the air, and I feel like other pilots have caught on a lot quicker, I decided to take this opportunity to, rather than invest a whole bunch of time in relearning or readjusting to how the Vortec has changed, I took this opportunity to try out new weapons for the Reaver. And what you're seeing here is the Air Hammer, as you can see down there in the lower, the lower right, the M30 Mustang AH, which means Air Hammer, which is effectively a shotgun for your Reaver. And we can see here it's doing pretty well against these stationary infantry targets, and it is very, it does function very well against infantry. But I wanted to try it out in the field once I've gotten a little bit of a feel for how the bullet drop works and how fast the bullets are and the magazine size and the damage and all that stuff. And what we're seeing here is an enemy side get destroyed by both a Reaver, which is our side, and a Mosquito, which is the Terran Repu Republic. So we decided to chase after this Mosquito. And I'm glad he's not really performing any evasive maneuvers, because it's giving me an opportunity to see how well the Air Hammer functions against aircraft. Now, the Air Hammer has a very long reload time. And if you don't have a large magazine, which means you haven't put any search into it, then it's going to take you quite some time to actually take out an enemy aircraft. But we can see here that anywhere between six to seven actual landed shots against an ESF will take it down. So certifications should be going toward your magazine size for the air hammer if you decide to use it. Here I try to take out a scythe. I don't aim very well at it because again, I am still trying to get readjusted to this and end up actually pegging a few friendly units instead. But what we're about to see here is my first, oh, wow moment when it comes to the air hammer. Now I tried this out obviously on infantry in the virtual reality training area, but this is my first time actually seeing its effectiveness against infantry out in the field. Now this is a spawn camping situation. Uh, I normally wouldn't show stuff like this because I don't find spawn camping to be all too interesting, unless I'm the one being spawn camped and still doing well. But we can see there that all I did was peg an infantry unit with maybe one or two of the rounds from the air hammer. He probably was already damaged, but the fact that you're able to use this shotgun-like weapon to spray in the general direction even at a fair distance from your target and still land kills against infantry is something I wanted to showcase, and here I spot an infantry unit on my map, on my mini-map, and he has no idea that I'm actually here. How do you not see an aircraft right behind you with a shotgun? An aircraft with a shotgun right behind you. But it works very well against him, and it works very well here too. I'm able to get bursts of fire into these covered areas against enemy infantry, and still do quite a bit of damage. I will be trying out the air hammer in actual combat situations, not situations where we have a whole bunch of sitting ducks and I'm just basically firing in up on them. Here actually we see something I find interesting. I was able to get a couple of rounds off, a couple of bursts off on that one infantry target. Uh, he was a heavy, I could tell because he had a rocket launcher, so maybe I ate through his shield, his personal shield, or his, uh, his special ability shield with that first shot and then landed too few shots with my second burst to actually uh, finish him off. I mean, I think he was a heavy assault by his silhouette. But I did get an assist off of it. And here I have a choice between a Sunderer or an infantry target, and obviously I'm going to choose the infantry target in that case because it's going to get me some certification points. It's going to get me some experience. But this was my first real foray out into the real field of combat with the air hammer and doing fairly well with it. It's something that I'm going to put some search into, practice with a little bit more. I want to try it out. It's a fun weapon is what I want to get across. And here I overextend. Um, I go a little bit too low with my reaver. But I am able to bail out before the reaver explodes. And I'm close enough to the ground where I don't take fall damage and get a kill anyway. But the point that I want to get across is that the air hammer is a fun weapon. I don't know if it's worth investing a whole lot of search into yet for your average player, but it's something that I'm going to be trying out. And if I do manage to get some good footage with it, get a little bit better with it, and put some search into it, then uh, maybe I'll put up some more footage of it in the future. In any case, hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.